Hi there lovelies, it's your love leader Candy Hine here. I'm so excited to be teaching you all about measurables in Google Analytics this week. It looks like from our poll today that many of you haven't set up your Google Analytics account quite yet, so the second part of this video is for you. Now first, just a couple of reminders about this week. One, try to make the live call tomorrow. It makes all the difference in connection with one another and come with an open mind. Google Analytics, or GA, it's not hard. You don't have to be a tacky person, and you're smart and can do this. Two, bring your pen and your paper for lots of notes. Three, jot down all of your questions and then submit those under the Google Analytics questions post on the Love Facebook page so that I can make sure to answer each and every one. And if possible, be logged in to your Google Analytics account for the call. Hands-on training will make it all click so much quicker. So that brings me to the next topic where I'm going to take you through setting up your Google Analytics. And then lastly, I'm going to give you a mini challenge so that you have some data to look at tomorrow during our call. So let's get started using a screen share. Okay, let's exit out of this. We're right where we want to be. Okay, what you're going to type in is www.google.com backslash analytics. So from here on is something that it uh, adds after you're going to push enter. So analytics is A N A L Y T I C S, and it'll probably autofill for you. So that's your URL box, and that is where you're going to put in that address and push enter. Now you're either going to come to this page or first page that says um, where it says that you can uh, get started with an account, and of course you want to click there. This is just going to give you an overview of the three steps to creating an account. So what you're going to do is go over here to your right where it says start using Google Analytics and you're going to click sign up. Now I am in Safari because when I'm in Google Chrome it automatically logs me in to all of my accounts and so I wanted to show you the sign up process. So I'm in Safari so that I could do that but I do really recommend um, Google Chrome. What's great about Chrome is that once you're logged in, then you're logged into all of your Google um, platforms, including your Gmail, your Google Plus account, your YouTube account, and of course, Google Chrome. And our workstations are optimized to work best on Google Chrome or Safari. So if you're working on Internet Explorer, for example, it's time to update anyway. Okay, so. Now we're on the page where we're going to set your tracking information up. And literally, this is all it is. That's all you have to do to get these set up. It's super easy. So on the account name and your website name, this is really just your information. So for example, under my Google Analytics account, I have tracking set up for my personal blog, my Scentsy blog, my Scentsy website, my Scentsy YouTube channel, and a couple of other things. And so I can give them sort of nicknames so that I can quickly click and see what data that I'm looking at. So you can really name these whatever you want to name, name them. So I can just call this Scentsy, for example, and then I can call this my Scentsy website whatever you would like to do. Now, on your URL, you are going to put in, you can copy and paste this from your actual URL, but I'll show you all you have to do to enter it in. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is this drop-down box, you're gonna click HTTPS. Now, that's a hypertext protocol system. It doesn't mean a whole lot um, to you, but the difference between having an S on the end is that means that the website is secure. So, for example, if people go to your website where there is a payment option, they know um, that whenever they make a purchase that it's safe because what happens is any information that goes through the internet lines, if you will, is encrypted 
and completely safe. So if you go to PayPal or your bank, you're always going to see HTTPS at the beginning of your URL. So just a little side note there. So then you don't have to do www on your website. You're just going to do candy.sensi.us or whatever your um, address is. And then you are going to choose whatever you'd like. This is not anything that matters much to you, but it does help Google um, categorize and come up with their statistics at the end of the year. I'm just going to choose shopping. And then I'm going to choose my time zone, which is central. So you can choose yours and you can see that all of the countries here are listed. So they're in Australia and Korea. You can enter yours. Now this information here, it's not opting in to receive emails necessarily. This is about your data share. So you're essentially giving them um, authorization to have access to your account if you need to call for tech support or if they want to utilize it for their marketing or whatnot. So you can click those or not, either way. So then you're going to hit Get Tracking ID. And then you're going to read through this long terms of service and say, I accept. Now, this has given me a little trouble today, so it may not give me that code, but that's okay because all it's going to do, it's going to, so if it gives you this, then just try again. Um, they're just having a little bit of hiccups tonight. But literally, all it's going to give you on that next screen is a code, and the code is going to be about eight digits long, and it's going to start with the capital letters U A dash and then some numbers. All you need is to copy that code and then we're going to copy it over to your workstation. So I'll show you how to do that next. So now you're going to go to your workstation. You're going to click on account and you're going to go to edit my personal website. When you go to edit my personal website, it's going to come up and it looks just like your website except here is all of our options. We're going to click on the My Analytics options. Now once I publish this, I'm going to black out my actual code, but this box here is where you're going to paste in that long UA number, and then you click Save Analytics. And then whenever you want to access those analytics, which will start populating in about three to four hours, you're going to simply log back in to that Google Analytics account that you just set up. So you're going to go back to google.com backslash analytics and you're going to access your Google Analytics and it should automatically log you in. If not, then you'll put in that username and password to log yourself in. And then you'll have that information ready to go for tomorrow's call. Okay. So now that you know how to set up your GA, it's time for your mini challenge. So you're either going to post on your Facebook wall or private message a handful of friends in a different cities if you can to let them know that you need their help. So here's an example of maybe a post or a message and of course make it you. Hi friends, can you help? I'm currently in a leadership training program, and this week I'm learning how to use Google Analytics to measure my website's data like traffic. I just need as many of you that can to visit my website anytime this evening. And my website is www. Da, da, da. You can visit and then leave or visit a few pages so I can see how the data changes. Thanks so much for your help while you learn how to become a stronger leader with Sensi. Like this post when you're done. And that's all you need to post. And then we will look at that data tomorrow. And even if just a few people go to your website, we'll still be able to see that information and you'll be able to glean some from it. So no worries if you don't have a bunch of participation on that. Okay, so we're all done for tonight. I'm really looking forward to seeing lots of you on the live call tomorrow night or morning if you're one of our lovelies in Australia or Korea. Thanks so much for joining me tonight, and um, we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye.